Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. I got some breaking news out of Coindesk and it's actually really interesting to me because this is a pretty big paradigm shift when it comes to cryptocurrencies and being integrated into payment systems. So the title says Bitcoin breaks out near 58,000 after or near 58,000 after Visa adds support for stablecoin USDC. Now, some of you might be thinking, well, what's the big deal? It's not like they're supporting Bitcoin, but it is actually a big deal. So this is further integration into uh, stable coins and also what you're going to find is digital currencies coming soon. But this is where it's going to help everybody that has Bitcoin or cryptocurrencies. Uh, so it says Bitcoin picks up a bid as payment giant Visa adds support for USDC, the second biggest stable coin. Here are the bullet points and we're going to talk about them. The biggest cryptocurrency by market value is trading higher on the day near 58 grand at press time with the daily chart showing a bullish breakout from a two week long descending channel identified by trend lines connecting March 14th and March 20 highs and March 16th and March 25 highs. Prices have risen. Uh, by nearly 2,000 since Reuters early today reported Visa's decision to allow the use of stablecoin USDC to settle transactions on its payment network. USDC is the second biggest stablecoin with a market cap of about 11 billion as per data from CoinGecko. Okay, now here's, here's the information that I want to get into. According to Reuters, Reuters by adding support for the stablecoin, Visa has stripped out the need to convert the cryptocurrencies into traditional money for settling transactions on its network. So here's the deal, guys. There's lots of third-party apps that use the Visa, um, the Visa, you know, credit card system or Mastercard credit system. So it, you could take your Bitcoin and load it into U.S. dollars and then go spend it freely, right? But this is a game changer because now you're not going to have the third party apps charging you for it. So that's one thing. So you'll be able to take, you know, let's say you're on Coinbase and you bought Bitcoin and you crushed it in the market. And you sold it um, for USDC. You can now just have that deposited directly on your Visa bill or your credit card bill to settle out payments. That's huge. Absolutely huge. Because you're not going to get charged by the third party, a fee for doing this. And you don't even have to go through the laborious, you know, all of the rigmarole, let's say, of taking it, putting it into dollars, then depositing it into your bank account, then using your bank account to pay off your credit card bill. So that is absolutely a game changer. Um, the other thing is there's a lot of people that use um, exchanges that are not in the country that they're in. And they don't even need to, to now transfer that to their, their, let's say you're in America and you've got a Binance account and you uh, set up, you know, you buy something and sell it on Binance. You can now take that money and directly go and swing it over to Visa or go put it in your, your, uh, your wallet like a Trezor or a Ledger. And then when you're ready to, you can transfer that over to your Visa payment. So that brings a lot of a lot more flexibility um, when it comes to paying and buying things. I think this is absolutely huge news. It's exciting. Um, it means there's going to be that much more adoption, especially if you think about it for businesses that want to take cryptocurrency and they go, what do I do with this stuff? I want to take it because I know a lot of businesses that want to take it and, um, and then they turn around and hold on to it because they're speculating that price of Bitcoin is going to go up because they don't necessarily need all of that money in their account right now. And now they can take it and they'll be able to transfer it to a, a, a stable coin and then pay off their business uh, uh, credit card lines. That's it's incredible. So anyway, they're just showing the breakout. And yes, we did have a breakout. I have been expecting a, a large move up in the beginning of April, um, followed with some interesting uh, times in the middle of April, let's say. So we'll see if I'm right. But anyway, I just want to give you this news. I think it's a really, really cool indicator that we are going more mainstream and that the, that the industry is moving uh, towards, I mean, it's always been a payment solution, but the more, you know, Visa and MasterCard breakdown, watch. Within the next 60 days, 
you're going to see uh, Visa probably announce that they're taking Bitcoin as payment too because they want to actually figure out a way of being able to get Bitcoin because they want to be a part of the, the, the run-up too. That's the thing. That's why Tesla's doing it. And that's why um, all of these other companies are doing it because they don't want to hold U.S. dollars. Well, Visa and MasterCard understand the same thing. The dollar is collapsing. These are smart people. They're not dumb. So I guess uh, that's it, guys. I hope you guys have a great day, and the Ninja is out.